Hey guys, how's it going? We are in the front yard today. I've got a little bit of a project that I need to do, uh, that I've been needing to do, and I'm wearing my Sunday best, bleach stains and all, doing great. <laughs> um, but we're gonna take care of these containers right here. They are a hot mess right now, and they gotta get cleaned up. It's so bad. So there's been zero irrigation to these. I don't know if you can tell or not, but things are not thriving here. <laughs> um, so, I think I had a really big issue this last year with these containers being black and they get so much sun that the roots just cooked in them. And so I'm going to be taking everything out, dumping it. It's all, it's all dead. It's just, it's just crispy. It didn't survive. <laughs> so we're gonna take everything out, dump it, and we're gonna paint these. So I have two spray paints that I'm gonna use and I'm not exactly sure how it's gonna go. This is a total experiment. I was thinking about doing like a green color, like the herb cornucopia, but I couldn't find one that matched well enough in a spray paint. And when I was looking at some of them, um, I thought that it would just be like too off where it would be noticeable. And so we're gonna go with like a, l let me just, let's go to the car and I'll show you guys what I picked up. <laughs> I actually just went and grabbed them out of the car. The lighting over there was horrendous. So I got this color. It's like a taupey color. I thought it was really pretty. It's called chocolate pretzel. It's in satin. Um, I liked it. We'll see how well it goes. And then what I'm gonna do, because I just don't want them to look like they're spray painted. I'm gonna go in with this stuff. It's like a textured creamy color. We'll see how it goes. This is called bleach stone. I do want these to be pretty light, but I think that the um, like, the tone of the like taupey color would be really pretty as like an undertone. So we'll see how it goes. This is gonna be an experiment. I've never done anything where I'm using like two different types. I was hoping just to find one that had like texture so I could have that like stone finish to it, but uh, they didn't have anything that wasn't uncolored with the texture. So let's get these cleared out and then we're gonna pot them up. Let me show you guys actually what I'm gonna put in them. Now I'm looking at them and they might be too big. <laughs> Oh shoot. I bought two of these. I'm gonna put these inside that container. I think I'm gonna just make them work. These will not be able to stay very long term in those containers. They smell really good. Holy cow. I didn't realize that. So these are called Golden Mop Thread Branch Cypress. I picked these up over at Magnolia and they get eight feet tall, eight feet wide, and they want full sun. So I just loved the like yellow color of this and like the freeness of it. These obviously won't be able to stay long term, but I should be able to minimum get a year out of these. I just thought that they were super pretty and they're an evergreen, which I love evergreen. So these will go in those containers. The containers might be a little bit big. I did spend $60 on them. So they were 60 bucks each and I did buy two of them. I bought them at two separate times, so it didn't hurt nearly as bad. It made it feel like it wasn't $120. <laughs> um, either way though, I'm, I'm super happy with these. They're really pretty. If they don't end up fitting in this container, I would like to find a larger container for them to go in. I just, I don't know, I think they're really pretty. I think they'd be also super pretty on the back porch. So let's go ahead and clear these out because this is not the look that we're going for. <laughs> That was stupid hard. <laughs> I didn't think about it when I bought these containers, but see how they flare out at the bottom? So that means everything that grows in here, all the roots are gonna grow down, and then they flare out, locking them in. I'm thinking that I might wanna move the planters from the front up here. I think they're bigger anyways, let me go check. Hold on, let's take one of these back and go see which one's bigger. <laughs> so these are the two containers I have. Obviously these are taller, but just because of that base thing. But I, I love these ones. I love the shape of them. I love the look of them. These ones look a little old school to me. So I'm not sure. I'm Freya's helping me decide, huh? <laughs> I'm thinking that I'm gonna go with these ones and just spray paint them because they're blue and I don't love the blue color. And these are black with like orange and the black cooks the roots and I hate that orange color. So let's go ahead, 
let's go ahead and do these ones. I think these will be the best bet. It's a, it's gonna be easier to get those evergreens out in a year anyways. You can see this is very like straight where this one kind of comes in and then it bulbs out like that. So while I wish these were taller, they're not, but I think these will be better for the evergreen in the long run. So I have my two containers, these ones, I think I'm gonna do it. I've got my spray paint. Let's just get them sprayed. It's a little bit windy. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little bit windy today. Uh, that's why I'm wearing like crummy clothes. So if I get these covered in paint, it doesn't matter. Like, okay, massive bleach stain. So I think what's gonna be the saving grace on these is they do have a little bit of texture to them. See that? So they have some texture to them. So I think that that's gonna be their saving grace. I kind of wiped them off. I'm not gonna worry about the bottom here, but I did kind of wipe off the rest of it. So let, let's just get into it and see what happens. <laughs> So, I feel like I've learned a few things. Um, I'm loving the color. I love this like beigey, it looks like a, I don't know, it's like a creamy beige color. It's really pretty. Um, I'm definitely learning some things and I just grabbed the wrong can and I sprayed this thinking it was the brown color. It was not, so there's a huge like clump on the side of it. So I think what I'm gonna do for this one though is I'm gonna go in with the texture spray first and then I'll spray paint it. And then I'll go in with just a little like mist of the like texture spray. I think that's like the best method because this was nice. But when I started spraying it, I was like, oh my gosh, that's like a lot of white. And I had to go back in and respray it anyways. So I think that spraying the texture and then spray painting is best method. <laughs> So I also have this fern here and it's in this very blue container and I think I'm going to spray paint this also really quick um, just so it matches because I'm really loving the color of these and that way they all kind of tie together. I mean it's a totally different style pot than that. It kind of ties in better with these ones but I think it'll go better if it's all the same color so let's do that really quick. And this was also a paint job that I had done. Ooh look a spider. Okay. Sorry, spider. <laughs> um, this was a paint job that I had done and I had used a blue color and then like, I like went over with some like white wax. So let's get this painted also. Those look so good there, and I can't wait. The fern is gonna get tucked in right back there. I love it. I know it's not gonna be everyone's cup of tea, and that's okay. I really like the color. It's looking a little more brown on camera, and it still has some shine to it. The shine is gonna go away because this is a satin, so it really won't be shiny at all. You get up close, and you can actually see some of the texture to it, but I'm really happy overall. So the next step now, 
if I can get this tote open, <laughs> is we're gonna run our irrigation. I'm gonna go in with the black poly. This is just black with no emitters on it right here. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with a loop of this stuff, which is the brown poly. And this has half gallon per hour emitters built into it every six inches. And so these will just emit the water um, and give it plenty of water. I think I'm gonna try to do as many as I can because this irrigation is hooked up to our sprinkler system and sprinklers go off for a small amount of time. And so it, the irrigation will come from there and it runs over to this pot, it runs behind this board and it comes out and it taps into this. So I'm gonna try to do as many emitters as I can because these pots do get warm. They're in full sun and it is an evergreen and I wanna make sure that they're getting ample water. And this is really easy. I just run this directly up the bottom of the pot and then I use a little connector. Let me see, let me grab it. Then I'm just gonna use one of these little like T connectors right here. So the black poly right here goes into this pointy piece right here. And then I make a circle after I get my plant in with the brown and I connect it on both sides. Then I have a continuous loop of this stuff. So that's kind of what I'm gonna do. Let's just get this potted up now because this is gonna be super easy. <laughs> That looks so incredible. Oh my gosh, I'm obsessed. I think that I'm possibly wanting to replace the ferns back there with something more chartreuse green like, like these evergreens are. They're so stunning. Um, some of them are a little bit long, like you can see like there's like a long tassel right there, which I mean, that's totally fine. The one on the left is obviously a little bit bigger than the one on the right, but I'm sure it's going to fill in extremely quick, especially being up front, full sun. They're on irrigation. The irrigation is not turned on yet, so I am going to be hand watering them. You can see I just watered them. Water everywhere. <laughs> and then got the fern painted and I got the fern all put back. I'm loving it. I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about the color with, you know, the house being black and white and like the front door is like a, a muted green compared to the green that's over there. Like that's the herb cornucopia right there. And so the front door is like a muted version of that. And um, I wasn't gonna, I wasn't sure how I was gonna feel because it feels very like soft and pastel, but I'm loving it. I'm loving that the plants are the ones just speaking. So I'm, I'm really, really happy with it. I did get these planters though from, what is it called? <laughs> Home Goods. I got them last year at Home Goods. I couldn't find anything that I loved. And then I went to Home Goods, found these. I recommend checking that place out or checking out TJ Maxx or even at home. We just got an at home for the first time and I'm loving it. Great place to find containers for really cheap. And so I'm loving it. I love the new color. I love the plants in them. I think it's absolutely perfect. So I have a couple of plants that I also want to put in the side yard that are this color. It's the wasabi coleus. You guys saw me just put the hookahs in. And um, I think that I want to put in some coleus that are the wasabi in the side yard also. I think that that would be really pretty today. And obviously this week I'm feeling this color. It's just, it's such a gorgeous color when everything is like just starting to break dormancy. <laughs> so let's go to the side yard and go get some of those plants. I think I'm just going to pop two in the ground. Uh, I think I have two 
that are already acclimated to being outside so they're already hardened off from being inside so let's go to the side yard and get those in the ground really quickly so these are my wasabi coleus <laughs> they don't look like much now i know they don't look like anything but a stick with a little bit of cuttings so i've got these two that i'm going to throw outside here in the side yard not right here i just think that they're really pretty they have been growing in my bootstrap farmer seed trays you can see if it'll focus you can see right here bootstrap made in the usa and you guys i honestly give a lot of credit <laughs> how well my seedlings have done to bootstrap farmer because i've grown in some of those like really crummy containers that you get from like you know big box stores the orange store the blue store and um i just forget about them i don't enjoy it and once i switched over to these that are like really hardy and i invested some money into it i was like okay now i want to care about it and now i enjoy it and they've done a lot of like engineering let me show you the bottom of these they do a lot of like research into plant growth and plant health bottoms of these big pots right here have all of these like ability to like wick up extra moisture and get lots of oxygen to the roots which the roots need in order to not continue to just like spiral in circles this makes it so that your roots just grow really really healthy so i really commend bootstrap on the um like on the engineering that they've done into their plants and then also these sit in some of their 1010 trays with like a removable insert and i didn't buy them when i first made my first couple of purchases from them and that was a big regret so now that i have the larger pots with the like insert to be able to remove them it's actually made watering and taking care of seedlings so much easier so that's my little spiel <laughs> um also they are having a huge restock coming up very very soon i've been in contact with them because i know so many of you guys want to get your hands on these but they keep selling out so incredibly fast and everyone's loving it i'm getting your guys's emails of your guys's photos and your guys's messages on instagram with photos of your guys's new kits and that's really cool to see but I know there are a ton of you guys that want to get your hands on it and you can't because they're selling out so fast. So this is your um, your little reminder to sign up for their notification that they have that lets you know when things are back in stock because they're hoping to do a huge restock on all of their kits um, except for one kit, which is the 1010 tray instead of the 1020 trays. So they're, they're working on getting it all restocked to you guys so put those notifications on this is the side yard i was talking about and those are the hookahs that i planted literally the exact same color <laughs> but i just thought that they looked really pretty up against the black fence so i'm going to tuck these coleus in i'm using this one coleus to point because my hand is full <laughs> um, i'm going to tuck one of them in there and one of them over on this side that way it's kind of like flanked by these coleus i just think that that would be really pretty and i wasn't going to use any fertilizer because i thought it was like all the way back of the shed but it was up front so we're going to toss in a little fertilizer and get these planted in like two seconds <laughs> and really quick because i keep getting questions about the juiced orange jessamine it's not blooming but it is growing so this is it it's still really really happy um i really like the black stems on it oh there's a privet seed but i like the like super dark stems on this and how green it is so here it is not blooming yet um but i'm hearing that, that you guys are already getting blooms so maybe soon but i don't see any buds so i don't know Ta-da! <laughs> it doesn't look like much of anything. I mean, that one you can't even see, but it will take off. And they grow so fast and so big. I mean, this is gonna reach the top of this basin, no problem, which will be really pretty with the hosta underplanted. And then this is gonna just fill out. It's gonna be a really, really vibrant green. You can see that right up against that black fence. Stunning. Ignore the extension cord, okay? Don't pay attention to that. <laughs> So that is gonna be it for this video, you guys. I mean, I feel really accomplished. That was so great. Those pots look amazing. They look beautiful planted up. This area looks absolutely amazing now. Um, and I can't wait for that to grow up. That's gonna be so gorgeous. And I still need to get some stuff planted in this area. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you all in the next one. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.